Howdy train fans, welcome back to the Chattanooga Southern Railroad. So, if you watched my ops video uh, from yesterday for the Sugar Alley, you witnessed me run some cars off the end there that weren't blocked by a stanchion. Uh, and I think I did that over here as well. Uh, and even over here, because uh, I don't have my bumpers or any wheel stops installed. And I don't plan on installing any of those until after I've got some ballast down because I've got some Walther's ones, some Details West versions, and um, I need to paint those and weather them and all that stuff before I put them in. So they're part of, to me, they're part of the scenery. But I need something to help out right now. And so what I've found um, it, as, a, as an idea was I had some of these uh, T-pins, right? These are the fabric pins. I have a an assortment like this, and these range from one inch in ha quarter inch increments all the way up to two inches. Um, and so what I did is I went and used the one inch because I'm using homosote that was plenty of support with a one inch. If you're doing, you know, one inch foam or one and a half inch foam or two inch foam, you may want to use the longer ones uh, to get the support since the foam is not quite as rigid um, as the homosote. Uh, but it was really quite easy to push these in, you know, into the homosote. And what this gives me is a kind of a, a, a temporary and somewhat invisible bump stop for the locomotives, as you can see here. One thing I will warn you about is I went through and in my OCD nature, put these in centered like this. Well, as you can see, when you bring the car up, guess what the KD wants to do? it wants to lock onto it, just like that. So, that being said, what I did, what I recommend you do is you move it, offset it, and, and in the offset, you wanna move it like halfway in between the center line of the track and the one rail. And when you do it, I also recommend, let me get myself oriented here, that you offset it, off center it to the left side. And the reason being when this car comes up, right? What it does is it clears that trip pin. And hopefully you can see that there. That way you won't get locked in, but it will stop the car. And the beauty of these are that they are almost invisible. Like you almost can't see that one there right but you know it'll stop the car especially if you're trying to couple to it if you've got some you know funky couplers that don't want to couple or you've got mismatched couplers McHenry's to KD's or the scale heads to the full size heads it gives you something to push up against uh should you need it so anyway there's your uh Saturday quick tip of something I just learned how to do had a problem yesterday found a solution that works for me Hopefully uh, something you can use or spawns an idea for you. Uh, and with that, I'll let you get back at it and we'll see you on down the tracks. Bye.